All right, peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. I just finished my night shift. Um, I wanted to uh, do a video because I have not done a video in a long time. <laughs> um, yeah, being a, a, a so I don't think I'm a real a real quote unquote uh, YouTuber. It's it's very very uh, exhausting and. Um, time-consuming um, and there's other things that that um, I'm trying to focus on at, at this point in my life um, I will tell you all that I've been a physician assistant for 20 years I've been in the healthcare field for 30 years uh, 20 of those have been as a physician assistant um, it's a great profession I would have left it years ago if I if I did not really enjoy it. So I'll give you guys uh, my my top five reasons for um, staying in this field and pursuing it or pursuing the field in the first place and um, staying in it in no particular order. But uh, number one, um, um, I get to be a good servant of um, what I consider to be my my creator. Yeah, God willing, he's, he's pleased with my work. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, you know, I've helped save a lot of lives. I did my training at um, D.C. General Hospital and Howard University Hospital back in the late 90s. And um, that was a time when uh, Washington, D.C. was nicknamed murder capital of the world. Uh, because, or murder capital of, of America, actually, because we had um, one of the highest uh, death rates secondary to um, violent crimes, uh, homicide in particular. So I got to help save people and uh, try to um, change the mindset of a lot of my uh, my wayward brothers. Uh, I, I like to think I made somewhat of a change. Um, number two, um, I get to be a servant to my community and, and my family. You know, families, um, family mem I've had family members with uh, COVID-19, you know, we're well within the, um, the, uh, uh, this uh, era of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, our our president, his wife, and um, some of his staff members even have been infected with COVID-19. Uh, and you know, God willing, inshallah, they'll they'll uh, they'll uh, you know uh, recover from it. it. Looks like they're recovering from it quite well, and uh, maybe um, they'll learn something, and um, it may change uh, certain policies that we have in certain ways of doing things um, and that segues into me being a uh, perpetual student and an educator which is another reason my third reason for really enjoying being a physician assistant um, it's a constant education process of constantly learning new things even after 20 years you know paradigms change even some of the information that I learned whilst in school has changed I was trained on the DSM-3, which is the Diagnostic Systems Manual for Mental Health and uh, Psychiatric Disorders. Now there's DSM-5 uh, for uh, high blood pressure. I was trained on uh, uh, JNC, Joint National um, Committee uh, 6, and now there's 8. So, the, you know, when I first started as a, um, as a PA uh, 20 years ago, I was um, working in HIV medicine. And back then, I mean, people were taking, you know, 20 to, to 40 pills a day, and now they're down to um, one pill a day. And we've got more efficacious ways of uh, treating the disease. Um, but, but with that change in medication comes the, the constant need to upgrade your skills and your knowledge. So you become a perpetual uh, student, but also a perpetual educator. And uh, that's, that's uh, one of the things I really love about it. Number four, um, it's, it's a job in which I feel, um, I feel good about it. It, it, it helps my self-esteem. I was a struggling student. I never felt particularly intelligent. Um, but I, I kept, you know, things like chemistry. I had to take it over and over again. had a lot of problems with uh, biochem biochemistry and, and um, physics. But, you know, this is... Um, it was par for the course. It was a learning experience. 
but I, I overcame a lot of those um, those shortcomings. And, and I was diagnosed with uh, dyslexia at a very young age. So my learning method was, was different than um, um, many other people. So I had to, uh, you know, I had a lot of self-esteem issues about, God, I guess I'm really dumb compared to average people. But being a PA has helped me feel really intelligent. You know, I got a undergraduate and bach uh, bachelor's degree in biology, then got another uh, BS in um, uh, PA from uh, Howard University, and did my master's degree at the um, University of Nebraska with a specialization in infectious disease, and then went on to get a doctorate in health education from A.T. Still University, which is the oldest uh, osteopathic school in the country, established in 1892. So um, yeah, that, that's helped my self-esteem, and, and I guess you could say this, um, being a PA now has got a certain level of prestige about it if you're into that kind of thing. And then fifth, it's good money. I mean, I, I'm very fortunate. I make um, well over $100,000, which by today's standards is not that much money anymore. <laughs> but uh, it allows me to um, take care of my, my wife and children and, and provide for them. Um, you know, my wife uh, is, is an amazing educator. Uh, she homeschools our, our four children, and three of them are in college now. Um, they don't want anything to do with medicine, <laughs> which is, I'm encouraging them to uh, pursue their own passions in life. But, um, you know, thankfully, um, with the income that I make as a PA, I'm able to um, to afford a, a, a decent lifestyle and, and um, comfortable lifestyle and, and provide for them, yeah. you know, with, with God being my uh, foremost provider. So those are the top five reasons. Um, for those of you guys that are interested in becoming a PA, I'd encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you feel like it. If not, there's, there's much other uh, YouTube uh, channels out there that talk about um, how to become a PA. I've done a lot of things in, in this field. Um, I've been an educator. I was a professor um, about 15 years ago, did that for a few years. I've been a clinical research coordinator um, I've had articles published. I've published uh, original research, and I'm quite proud of that. Um, let's see, what else have I done? I've been an administrator in higher academia. So I've sat on admissions committees as a PA. So there's a lot of things that I've been able to do in these past 20 years. And that's, that's for me, that's, I would add that's number six. So that's the, um, yeah, I'll give you the top six things. So, so, uh, you have lateral mobility, and, and the uh, PA field is so incredibly diverse. There's so many things that you can, you can do with this degree. Uh, so I will um, look forward to you all's questions about becoming a PA or some of my experience. You can also reach me on Instagram. I'll put my uh, contact information in the, in the uh, description section. So happy PA Day to you guys that are pre-PA students. PA students or um, uh, new PAs or seasoned PAs like myself. Wish you guys all the best of success in your positive endeavors. Take care. Peace.